Hi, and welcome back to East Lake Virtual Dojo. In this video, we're gonna show you five hip mobility training exercises that you can practice at home. This will help you with both speed and power. Enjoy. In this position, hold your leg up and rock your hips back and forth until you feel the stretch. Perform this warm up for about 30 seconds for maximum effectiveness. Repeat the same warm up for the other side as well. For the next exercise, stand in place with your feet close together. Jump turning your feet in one direction while twisting your body in the opposite direction. Start slow and speed up when you feel comfortable. The next exercise will focus on exerting force from your back leg and locking your hip in a forward position. You can increase the speed and the timing of it when you feel comfortable. When you lock your hip, try to keep your back leg straight and your heel on the ground. From this view, you can see that I'm in a comfortable stance and slowly turning and pushing my heel to the ground to lock the hip in place. And again, once you feel comfortable, increase the speed and power. The next exercise is called karaoke. Cross in the front with the first foot, then bring the back foot over and cross behind with the first foot. Repeat this sequence a few times. Once you understand the pattern and rhythm, incorporate an opposing twist with your upper body. It is always easier to lead with your arms. After that, you can pick up the speed and timing of the exercise. It feels kind of like a dance, but once you've mastered the movement and rhythm, you can increase the speed even more. As you can see here, I'm moving quickly, twisting my arms and moving my feet. This last exercise is from Supadimbe and is mostly designed for karateka, but of course anyone is welcome to try. The series of movements from the kata will help you with your stances and hip rotation. Everything should feel in sync when done correctly. You can continue this exercise over and over again without having to reset your position. And of course, for tournaments, my hands shouldn't be open, but for this training, I am focused on staying relaxed before I engage in my next movement to maximize my hip rotation. Next, I will show you in full speed this sequence of events. And of course, for tournaments, my hands shouldn't be open. But for this training, I am focused on staying relaxed before I engage in my next movement to maximize my hip rotation. The following demonstration is two sets back to back with no rest or reset. 